Hey, this is Manny Fresh with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this B VMware workstation error where you cannot get a lock on the configuration file. So first thing you need to do is go ahead and open VMware workstation and under your virtual machines, go ahead and find the one that you have an issues with and you want to right click and then go to open VM directory. All right. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search here on the top right corner and I'm going to put in dot lck and then enter. Oops. dot lck. So these files in here are the one causing problems with your virtual machine not able to start up. So what you want to do is you want to delete every single one of them that come up there. You want to right click and then you want to delete. All right, let me refresh. All right, and then I'm going to search again to see if there's any more files. And there's not. Okay, the last thing that you need to do is optional, but if you see this file on your end, you want to delete that. And it's the uh, B VMEM file. If you see the file, even after VMware workstation being shut off, then you want to delete that file. Now, I find out that you can delete it, and that's because you need to restart your computer. So in order for you to restart, uh, to delete this file, you need to go ahead and restart your computer, which I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And then I'm gonna show you what happens next. All right, now that you rebooted your machine, what you wanna do is you wanna locate the VMware folder. And generally it will be here on the recent, recent files. I know mine is under the D volume, virtual machines. Uh, generally, most of the virtual machines is saved under the C drive. And then you go to users, you find your user, and then it's usually here on the, or on the documents. But you want to delete the file before you open the VMware system otherwise you're gonna have a hard time deleting the file so now that you found the file the bmem file you want to go ahead and right click and delete and the file is gone it looked like you generated another log file so you want to go ahead and look for any other log files and you want to clear all of them all right so let me search for another log file. There's no another one there. All right, so now that you deleted the BMEM file and the log files, go ahead and open VMware now. Now go ahead and select your VMware system and then hit start. All right, it looks like the system is starting now after we deleted the BMEM file and all the log files. Okay, so that's how you fix the log file problem in VMware Workstation. If you have any issues, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.